Hey guys, it's me, Sung Won, and today we're going to be opening up another Japan crate. That means plenty of Japanese snacks to try, and I'm very hungry, so I'm really excited. So, let's do it. Thank you, Japan Crate, for sending me this premium Japan crate, which means there's probably going to be a load of snacks in here. Oh boy. Holy kamoli, look at that. Look at all that. So first off, we've got these panda things. These are... Saku Saku Panda Cookies. Uh, the Saku Saku is the onomatopoeia for crunchy sound when walking on snow, leaves, sand, etc. So, these better be crunchy. So they look, whoa, let's drop them on the floor, I guess. So they look like this. They're little crackers, and let's give them a shot. Mmm, they're really good. The cookie is kind of like, um... I don't like an animal cracker in consistency. It's got a nice kind of good crunch to it, as you can hear. And the chocolate is really good. Almost reminds me of a s'more, kind of. Damn, those are good. The crunchiness definitely lives up to the Saku Saku name, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Here's the next snack. Looks kind of like a, what, like a taiyaki? Those fish pastries. It is a Puku Puku Tai Choco. It is the sound, puku puku is the sound of fish gulping, and then taiyaki is this kind of dessert. I love how taiyaki looks, just this nice, very appealing fish shape. The chocolate inside is very airy, and the wafer itself is also very, very delicate, so. Very light snack, which I, I, I can enjoy. Because sometimes chocolate snacks, if there's too much chocolate, it gets really overwhelming, but this is very light, crispy, and good. And it's gone because I eat to complete. I'm a completionist. Ooh, this has a drink because it's the premium box. This is, looks like a grape soda of some kind. Hajikete grape cider. Hajikete means burst. So this cider is full of bubbles. Well, I'm gonna open that up. Mm. I've said before in previous um, unboxings of food, but Asian grape flavor, king. King of grape. I mean, it's so good. It has a fruitiness that not necessarily comes from real grapes, but it tastes more fruity and more like a grape. Even though it's probably the same, like, citric acid and corn syrup, but they just have a different kind of recipe or something where I really like how their grape stuff tastes. Here is a long grape looking rope thing? Probably chewy. I don't think it's on the list. Is it a mystery item? All right, well, we'll just have to wing it. It looks like some kind of grape. Maybe it has kind of sugar all over it. So it looks like this. It's kind of a, looks very sugary. I don't know if that's sour or sugar. I guess we're gonna find out. Hmm. This looks like it would be super chewy, like a nerd's rope or something like that, but even though it is, um, chewy, it's very soft and just, you just bite right through it. This is good, another good grape flavor. A little bit, there's something not off about it, but something different about this grape flavor. I think it has to do with all the, looks like sugar around it. But the consistency of it, the fact that it's not too chewy, makes it really kind of addictive to eat. Because usually with gummy snacks, I'm just like, man, I don't want to eat the whole thing because it's just so much chewing. This is very soft. Pretty long, too. I could eat the whole thing, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. Here's the next one. It's some kind of... Looks like some kind of cola candy. Like a little guy in the front. Kajiritio cola candy. It's a chewy rope candy that is cola flavored on the outside and cider flavored on the inside. Oh. Two flavors in one. Ooh, it has a very appealing... I, I was expecting something like the gummy the grape gummy thing, but it looks more like one of those caramel chews. Those like, I forget what they're called, but the cows always used to advertise them. They're like the caramel ropes or whatever. So let's see how this tastes. So this consistency is more like, um, like a Laffy Taffy or um, an airhead. It, it's the consistency of an airhead. Like a nice, like not chewy, just pretty soft. Um, definitely has a strong cola taste. Oh, and I can taste the cider too. It's that ramune taste in the middle. So, 
definitely as soon as you bite into it, there is that cola, but once it's kind of been chewed, chewed a bit, yeah, the cider taste, that ramen taste is in there. It's a nice, nice mix, actually. Honestly, if they made Airheads with, like, cola flavor, I'd get them all the time. This one gets stuck to your teeth more than the gummy rope, though. Like, I'm still scraping it off my teeth. Okay, the next snack, it's these cute little balls. <laughs> cute little balls, yeah. Mochito Kinako Mochi. Okay, so it's some kind of rice cake, it looks like. I wonder what the filling will be. Kinako is a kind of soybean flour that is naturally sweet. Oh, so they're very, very, um, mushy. Hmm, interesting. The taste is sweet, but there's a little bit of a, like a rougher edge to it. Not bitter, but it complements it well. The filling is white, as you can see. I'm not a big mochi guy, so most mochi just, just kind of like tastes the same to me. But if you like mochi, then these are pretty solid. This one got my attention. Big bar. It's a white chocolate candy bar. Um, this better be big as hell to live up to the name. Oh, interesting. It looks like um, like a churro or something. Give it a shot. Mm. This is very, this is very good. This is more like what I kind of like. The consistency is very crisp, um, but chewy at the same time. It, there's a Korean, I think it's Korean, because I only see it at Korean places. There's a Korean snack called Crispy Roll that I love. It's one of my favorite snacks. And this consistency is just like it. It's crisp, but it has substance. And the flavor of this, it's fantastic because it's not just white chocolate. Looking at the ingredients, it has cheese powder in it. Um, so there is like a, a little bit of a savory edge to it. That is so good. <laughs> it's like the perfect, it's like a giant crispy roll with a good white chocolate taste, but with a, oh man, sweet and savory is like my favorite mix. To give a more accurate description of the consistency, um, it's like a really good, like, cheese puff in terms of consistency. Like, not too soft, like a good, solid, um, crunch to it. I absolutely love this. Next up, we got... The King's Lost His Crown. Look at him, he's like, oh no! Oh, my crown! The King's Lost Crown. It is a cookie. That's pretty straightforward. It's a little crumbly, but here's how it looks. Part of it got torn off, but that's fine. Huh, the texture is really weird. Um, there's a chocolate filling inside, that's good, if you can see that. But the actual cookie itself is really grainy, like not what I was expecting. Yeah, taste-wise it's pretty good, but texture-wise it's a little, a little dry. But the chocolate um, filling helped. This is, says, BIG! It's got a little alien man on it. Big, big mushroom. It's just a big marshmallow, I guess. I wonder if it has a flavor, if it's literally just a giant marshmallow. It looks like just a giant marshmallow. Yep, it's just a giant marshmallow. If that's your cup of tea, if you like marshmallows, you're gonna like this big marshmallow. For me, marshmallows are okay, unless they're melted in a s'more or something. Pandaro cookies. Looks like some kind of butter cookie. According to this, it says, there are five different packagings for these cookies. I got the, looks like he's sleeping. Ooh, it's just one cookie. I thought it was gonna be like little ones, but it's just a big one. And here he is. Nice crisp texture, very buttery, which I appreciate. I like when a butter cookie really does taste like butter. I think it even adds a lot to it. Here's the next one. Looks like a cola type thing. Pachi Pachi Panic Cola. Panic? Uh-oh. Similar to Pop Rocks, it brings you a crackling taste of cola with sour lemon surprises. Pachi Pachi is the onomatopoeia for the crackling sound these candies will make when you eat them. Mmm. I like Pop Rocks, so. They're little brown pieces, and then it looks like the white ones are probably the sour stuff? Can you hear that? 
So the pop rocks work right away. Again, cola taste, Japan and Asian countries have that on point. The sour ones, they're not too sour. They taste kind of like um, an American Smarty. You know, those like wrapped in a roll, kind of just sugary candies. Pretty good. And they're a good, because they're more flavorful than the cola pieces. So I think it's a good match, because then you can get the pop rock experience, but also have kind of a stronger tasting candy. So it's good. It's a good call. All right, this looks like some kind of honey thing. 100% something. Hachimitsu 100%. Hachimitsu is Japanese for honey. Uh, 100% honey, apparently. They're very small. Look at these. Look at this cute little, little bubble of a candy. It's got a good honey taste. I mean, it better because the only ingredient is honey. It's literally just honey candy. And if you like honey, I mean, you'll like this. I like honey, so. The pieces are pretty thick, too, so this will probably take a while to... I'm trying to suck this long enough so I can chew through it, but it, it's taking a while, so... Um, if you get these, they last a while, which is good. I mean, I, I appreciate that with hard candy. Okay. Uh, nope. We weren't joking around with this candy. They were like, we're gonna make candy that lasts. This might be the most resilient candy I've ever had. I might literally have to suck this down to nothingness. Like, it is at the size right now where I should be able to chew it with other hard candies, but... I don't know, I guess honey's really strong. I guess with this candy, you gotta commit. I mean, it's, you're gonna eat it all the way to the end. No breaking it early, no chewing it. It's literally like this big now, but... I guess if you make a candy with 100% honey, like, it just is dense as hell. I don't think I've ever eaten a hard candy for this long. Yeah, it's gotta be the honey because as I'm chewing it, trying to bite it, it just kind of molds to my teeth. Apparently they should make skyscrapers out of honey. For them to last. It's like a little honey pebble. Congratulations, Japan. You have made the longest lasting, hardest candy ever. That's not a bad thing. I mean, but if you put one of these in your mouth, it's, I mean, if you're, unless you're a quitter, you're in, for, you're in for it for the long haul. This is a DIY thing. Uh, it looks like you mix it with water and make some kind of jelly. I might just do this as like a little bonus video or something, but it looks good. It looks like it's melon flavored, so I'll make this later. These are caramel corn, I guess, uh, but they don't look like caramel corn. They look like Cheetos. They are similar in texture to Cheetos, but with a tasty twist. Apparently very popular in Japan, according to this guidebook. Yep, they look like little cheese curls. Crispier than Cheetos, so pretty light. Um, which is dangerous with these kinds of snacks because that makes them very easy to eat through. They taste really good too. Like a very good caramel flavor. Wow, well, okay, you know, I can see why these are very popular. It's the consistency of a cheese puff, um, but sweet and airy. Wow, that is addictive as hell. I love caramel corn, um, but you know, it can get a little overwhelming if you eat too much. But this captures the taste, but the consistency, oh, no consistency. I'm gonna eat the whole bag. This is why I should eat lunch before I do this. They were not kidding. These are really good. Wow. Now, here's what I was looking forward to. I love savory snacks. Nori Shio, so salted seaweed. I'm a little disappointed because it looks like the other choice was French salad, and that sounds really good, but that's okay. Also, I like the little, little, um, Calby potato man on the front. Hey, come on, eat my chips, eat my children, I, I guess. Mm. So I've had seaweed chips in the past, and they all been pretty good. These, I think, are the closest to actually how um, nori, or gim, as I call it in Korean, tastes. The chip itself has a good crispiness, like more um, bite to it than other chip seaweed chips I've had. And I guess it's the shio part of the nori shio, but the saltiness, they have, they have a good salt to them, which I think is key, because I think other seaweed chips, they just try to taste like the seaweed, but part of the nori slash gim experience is they're salty and seaweedy. And this is the closest I think I've had to like actual seaweed. Especially because without it, some seaweed chips, it's like a little overwhelming. Like, not overwhelming, but a little 
you get kind of sick of the flavor. But these really capture the addictiveness of fried seaweed really well. All right, this is the last snack. It's sour long chewing gum. Sour cider gum. I saved this one for last because it's gum and I didn't want to, you know, spit it out. So it looks like this. I'll take off just a little bite. Whatever, I'll just chew the whole thing. It's a pretty soft gum. Like, if you didn't tell me it was gum, I would almost mistake it for, like, candy. And it takes a while to kick in, but once it gets going, that um, ramen taste is really good. Japan likes to put sour on their um, candies or whatever, but it's not sour. Like, it's not like a warhead or anything like that. Which I, I don't mind, because I don't really care about sour snacks too much. A more accurate description would be, like, tangy. It's a tangy cider. A really soft gum. I'm, a, I'm like, it feels like I'm like eating it. We also get a little toy. Awesome. A little uh, capsule. A little gachapon. <gasps> it's a little kitten in a cut. It's happy. Look how sad he looks. I'm sad that I'm in a cut. All right, well, that wraps up this video. A lot of snacks. Um, I would say top three. Seaweed chips. Number three, because really great seaweed flavor. I think it actually captures how nori tastes. The caramel corn is number two. I ate the whole bag in like five seconds, so that attests to that. And number one, this big bar. I mean, I'm gonna be thinking about this for days. Oh, it's big bar Z, even more intense. I wasn't expecting this Japan crate to come, so if this is a regular thing, I mean, I will be posting these once a month. Um, so this was May's box, so I'll put the link to the site below if you're interested in checking it out. Alright guys, see ya!